Hello everyone, I'm Melissa New and welcome to What's in Your Bag. I'm here with Chase Reynolds with LensRentals.com. That's kind of a tongue twister a little bit. Okay. Right? Kind of? Did it I was on my right? tongue pretty well. <laughs> <You know? laughs> okay. I, I got it. I got this. And we're with Alan Hess, a concert photographer. Did I get that right? Yeah, that's that's what I do. Amongst many other things. Right. Mainly I'm known for my concert photography and it actually happens to be my passion. And uh, I have a little bit of a switch going on, I'm doing a little bit more pet photography. But, what? Okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll touch that. Like... It's the same kind of gear and the same kind of settings too. It's a really weird thing. Oh but, my gosh, really? that's amazing. Right. Well, Chase, you do a lot of concert concert yeah. stuff as well. I came from the music industry. I was doing production and touring, and uh, I just hadn't always had cameras with me. So part of what I, how I got, I got started was just access. Right. You know, if you're the person with the camera and you have behind the scenes access, yeah. you get some really cool oh. shots. We don't like you. Yeah, you don't like, you don't like me because you're out after three songs. Right. You're out of right. the pit, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Oh, we've got some fighting words. It's okay. Out. It's okay. Well, I well, well, let's talk. I'm gonna kind of turn this to you. This is kind of your your thing. So what what kind of uh, let's let's talk about gear. Let's pull out the geek stuff. Yeah. Right. What is it that you guys usually do with with concerts? Right. Well, but you you talked about renting. Right. And obviously, do you do a lot of travel? I don't do a lot of travel anymore. I did when I was a little younger, but I I like being in San Diego. I'm married. I have we have two dogs. Sure. We have a nice house. It's Weather's like, amazing. Weather's amazing. <laughs> Weather have, doesn't suck. No, That's I have true. A, I have a, you know a good gig as a house photographer. There's enough yeah. shows to keep me interested there, and I do a lot of writing. I've written you know quite a few books. So. Sure that's kind of great. I can sit at home and work during the day on the writing and then shoot at night and it's it's great. So I don't do a lot of traveling anymore. So my question would be, you know, going back on the subject of renting, here you've got, you know, Chase plays with multiple amounts of gear on a daily basis. I don't even know how you even get any work done because of your warehouse. Well, I, I would, <laughs> you're like, no, I don't. That's on camera. Right. So, you know, if you were to branch out and if you were to rent a lens or right. if you were to rent a, a different body, what would you what well, would you want to try out? Right now, I, the 14 and 24, um, because it's that that Why? much wider view. Mm -hmm. And um, one of the one of the things I did this, at the sports center where I work is we rewrapped all the inside walls. So they're 22 feet long by 12 feet tall, okay. and we wrap them with these concert images. Mm -hmm. They look amazing, but they all have to be kind of this. And so I was looking for the wide stuff. So when I, when something like that comes up and I know that kind of job's coming up, then I'm, I'm definitely you know, looking for that wider lens. Now, I'm really good in the middle ranges, but the other side of it is sometimes we have soundboards where I'm doing some sports stuff, and then it's the 400 to 8, which right. is like oh, my... That's a beast. It, it is a beast, yeah. and I love it to the point that's where I shed a tear when I have to send it home. You, know, you like, shed a tear. Like, no, the, this, you know, my wife always looks at me, she goes, it's a sad day, isn't it? <laughs> You know what? That's just not a bicep workout. That's like a shoulder and No, it's workout. a, it's a, it's a, you know, and I, I'm a Nikon shooter. Just, I mean, if you didn't notice the Nikon before, sure. I, I'm in the, in the Nikon range and, and um, it's a heavy, heavy, um, bulky lens. And the, and the real thing, and I think a lot of people kind of miss this. They go, oh, I got like a football game where my kids are doing something. And I really want to get that long lens. Mm -hmm. So the game's on Saturday. I'll rent it. It'll show up on Friday. I'll shoot it on Saturday and I'll send it back. Yeah. There's a learning curve on those kind of glass, you know, those long lenses yes, that yeah. people don't really understand that you have it. And so if I'm getting something and I know I'm shooting something on like a Saturday, I'll get it the previous Monday. I mean, I'll get it for the whole week with the, with the show at the, end, at the end, because I'll take it out to the zoo and to the beach and stuff. And yeah. I, was, I would get used to focus. It's a very, very small area you get to look at. Wow. So you got to get that focus back. And I've seen a lot of people get really frustrated when they're using long lenses because they're not used to it. It's a, it's not as easy to look, you know, you see these guys on their sidelines and oh, football catches you know, <laughs> yeah. and the shots, there's a practice behind it and I think a lot of people kind of freeze up. Yeah, they I mean, try to shoot it the same way they're used to their right. normal range lenses yeah. when there's, you know, your shutter speed is usually different, you know, because you're at longer focal length, you, right. know, you know, especially if you're not using IS or something. You need to have a monopod and sometimes that, Sweet. you know, people don't quite understand that you can't like just lift it up and right. follow something around right. because it's like, you know, it seems like it's 110 pounds on your arm you know, after like a second. And it's, yeah. It's um, it's also you're looking through. You're seeing a very very narrow part of the scene in front of you. And people, yeah. Most you know, people see a whole bunch and they can keep that focus and they can kind of move. When you're only seeing a little sliver and you're moving it back and forth, it's a lot harder to keep you know the action right where right. it needs to be. Um, so every time I need it because I don't have one at home, it's uh, I don't have. Twelve thousand nine hundred nine thousand nine hundred. Am I? Uh, who does? You know? Well, you know, <laughs> 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 Reynolds does. <laughs> you know, someone's got to buy it. I don't. <laughs> oh well, but you know, I don't have that to, to, to go out and, and buy it for the 
right. four or five times a year that I really need it. Right. And so every time I get it in, I make sure that I practice it beforehand. That's There's really a, good yeah. advice. I think that's really good advice. Well, Alan, tell, tell the folks at home where they can find your work. Uh, Alan, your concert and pet work. Well, right, <laughs> right now it's alanhasphotography.com is my website and so most of it is all the concert stuff I do post um, things when I work at like Comic Con or I do some big event and I you know I'll post stuff about that too. I like gear. I'm, I'm really like I really enjoy like yeah. The, the mechanics behind Chase it. Chase is like, me too. We're going to hang out after this. <laughs> I know, get this girl out here so we can talk geek talk. No, I would definitely encourage you guys at home to check out alanhess.com. Check Alan out his work. alanhessphotography.com. It's A-L-A-N-H-E-S-S. Photography.com. Definitely check out his books. He's a great instructor, educator, um, but an all-around cool guy. <laughs> I, I, I feel that so. San Diego vibe. Yeah. But also, he talked a lot about the Nikons, the 72 to 200, and Chase mentioned other gear that he uses as well. Definitely check out lensrentals.com if you want to check these out. Anyways, Alan, thank you so much for your time. That was a pleasure. Thank you.